Right now, people in the Mountain Green area are still keeping a watchful eye on things after a landslide forced two homes to be evacuated. Yeah, the slide just one of roughly 100 that the Utah Geological Survey is monitoring right now. New specialist Kara Bracken just spoke with some experts. Uh, Kara, some of the slides uh, go back decades. Yeah, Dan, Cher, I want to take you back to 1998 and picture this. There are 18 homes sitting here doing their thing, sitting here in this area, but now there's no homes here. That's because of a landslide having to take those out due to safety. It was known to us as the Spring Hill landslide. Eventually, the whole neighborhood had to be demolished. The thing is, years later, this landslide is still moving. Since 2014, Utah Geological Survey geologists Greg McDonald and Ben Erickson say there's been about 20 inches of movement. They haven't measured since 2020 because of the dry years. This year, with all the snowpack melting, that could change. Come up and we take the measurements. I'm trying to do it earlier now so I can then remeasure later in the summer to see how much change happens. The Utah Geological Survey has been watching around 100 landslide locations, give or take, as some landslides may happen in an area where they don't impact people. After after a landslide, geologists like Greg and Ben may be contacted by cities, home, and or landowners to evaluate the area. Recently, that's looked like visits to Kaysville, Fruit Heights, Immigration Canyon, and most recently, Mountain Green. We're studying this one, and we're aware of the material that it's in uh, and identifying what, what it actually takes to, to make it move. Now, they're also in charge of building maps that is identifying and then mapping out some of those hazards so people are aware and they know what to think and what to uh, look ahead to. And that said, they do say that the cities and towns, they are getting a little more proactive when it comes to being aware of these kinds of things and doing different kinds of surveys, making sure that they know what's ahead of them, but still nature's going to do its thing. Guys. Yeah, it's really keeping an eye out, knowing what the history of the area yeah. is and, and what it should look like. Kara, thank you.